What's happening, y'all? Well, I've decided to vlog, to video blog. My next couple of weeks, um, obviously I'm still in College Station, Texas today. On Tuesday, I will be flying from Houston to Greece, Thessaloniki, Greece to be exact. And I wanted to take this, use this as an opportunity to really be able to share my experiences with uh, mostly, you know, my friends, family, also people who follow me on Facebook or I'm friends with on Facebook. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for me to be able to show you guys uh, what I'm experiencing and everything that's going to come with the trip. So I'm excited um, just to kind of give you a little bit of background. So I'm an academic advisor at Texas A&M University. Part of the reason why I'm going on this is to study abroad and it's for a uh, A-led class and those are the classes that I advise. So A-led is agriculture leadership and development. That's the major within the college that I advise for. This particular class, ALED 340, is one of the classes that I've been um, given the, the assignment of being a guest lecturer for. So myself, along with the actual faculty member, um, will be traveling with a group of 14 students to Thessaloni Thessaloniki, Greece. So it's a great opportunity. Um, that's one of the things I actually negotiated when I was going through the process last summer before I moved out here. They asked me, you know, had I ever had a chance to study abroad? Ironically, if you all know me and if you all have been knowing me for, you know, at least the last 10 years and you, you were friends with me in college, you knew that I did a lot of stuff in college. Um, I had an opportunity to, you know, be a part of a lot of different organizations, did a lot of great things. Um, but one thing that I did not do that I left on the table that I have somewhat of regret about is doing a study abroad. I did not get a chance to study abroad when I was in college, um, at the very last minute, like our senior year, me and um, Brandon and Rodney and a couple of my friends from um, from freshman year, we were all talking about doing this study abroad. But at that point, life was moving so fast, people were just trying to get out of college. So we didn't get a chance to do it. But like 13 years later, <laughs> no, not 13, but um, close to about seven, seven, eight years later, I've been presented with this opportunity, so I, I know it's a blessing from God. I consider it a blessing. I thought it was a great opportunity for me to take advantage of. So, yeah. So that's why I'm here now. Leaving on Tuesday. We're going to be gone from Tuesday. We're not coming back until the 27th, I believe, of June. So it'll be a full two weeks. Uh, we'll spend about a week in Thessalonica, and then we'll spend about another five days or so in Athens, uh, traveling, going to different places, having all kinds of adventures, I'm sure. Uh, we have a set schedule already, um, but I don't want to give away too much too soon. So I'll just say that we, we'll definitely be doing a lot. And I'm excited about the opportunity to be able to share that with you guys. That's, this is kind of like my intro video just to kind of get you guys to understand why I'm doing this. As of right now, so I'm at the point that I'm just packing. Packing has been a challenge <laughs> because under normal circumstances, like I do a lot of road trips. Um, since I've been in Texas, there isn't a lot to do in College Station, Texas on the weekends for someone like myself. Um, moving from New Orleans to College Station has been a transition and it's been kind of hard because there aren't a lot of activities here in the city of College Station. So most of my weekends I spend on the road, traveling, going places, um, whether it's to other cities within Texas or going to Louisiana, which I love my, my New Orleans and always going back to visit friends and family there or traveling to Mississippi or wherever. I'm normally gone on weekends. So I've become accustomed to packing. Packing is nothing for me. I can pack like that. But when you're packing for an extensive amount of time, for two weeks. That's a challenge within itself. And on top of that, you're traveling to a foreign country and there are certain things that you I never even thought about that I now I'm finding myself packing for. One item in particular, and I thought it was pretty funny because, so the faculty member, she's an African-American woman and she's done this probably about three or four times already. So when she mentioned, I was like, I kind of did a double take. I was like, are you serious or? Like, are you just talking to, because most of our students, we have 14 students going, two of them are African-American, and then myself along with the faculty member. So it's four African-Americans going and 12 Caucasian students going. So obviously she was speaking to the majority, but she was also talking to me along with the other two students. Sunscreen. I have never used sunscreen in all 30 years of my life. And when she said that we need, everybody has to have sunscreen, I, I kind of like, I was like, well, I kind of like nudged her. I was like, me too. She was like, yeah, you too. So I had to pack some sunscreen. So one of the things I've never really done either 
when I packed before is the way in which I packed. And I'm going to kind of turn the camera around so that way you can see my suitcase where it is today. Again, this isn't like everything, but the majority, probably I would say 75% of what I'm going to pack is already in here. As you can see, I have adopted a new style of packing. This isn't new for everybody else. It's new for me because I normally just fold it up my stuff, throw it in there, keep it moving. Well, now as you can see, I've rolled up my clothes. And this is one of the suggested methods of packing, especially when you're packing for an extensive amount of time, such as I am for two weeks. So you can try to get as many things in there and try to save as much space. Um, so right now, um, I tried to pack. I tried to pack an outfit for every day. I know that's probably dumb. Um, I when I posted um, posted something on Facebook the other day, like trying to pack for two weeks, and you know it's frustrating. And a lot of people are like pack like two pairs of pants and three shirts, and you'll be good. <laughs> I know that some people can do that, but I can't. I get a little paranoid, and I just like to stay prepared. So I probably overpack. I'm probably in the process of still overpacking. But I'm still trying to be efficient with the space that I have in my suitcase. But I'm sure once I get over there, and we, we'll, have, we'll have access to washing machines. And so, you know, I'll be able to wash a lot of clothes. So I am probably overpacking, but whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it work. I don't feel like I've used up so much space in my suitcase. I still have this whole section right here. And again, I have probably 75% of what I need packed. Um, and I'll probably go back through here. I may take out a couple of things, but for the most part, I think I'm going to leave, leave pretty much everything intact. I'm excited about this opportunity. It hadn't really set in yet. Um, everyone keeps asking me, because um, obviously at this point, at one point I wasn't really mentioned, I wasn't really talking about going, um, because it was just it seemed kind of early, and I just didn't want to jump the gun. But um, over the last week or so, people have been asking me, hey, you going to Greece, like, how's it feel? And my honest, honest reaction is that I, I'm happy. Like, I know I'm happy, I know I'm excited, I know I'm blessed to have this opportunity, but it hadn't really, like those butterflies hadn't hit me yet. Maybe tomorrow, I'm assuming tomorrow, it's probably tomorrow evening, um, but tomorrow evening is the game, so I don't know. Maybe Tuesday, we, we don't leave, we're, we're gonna uh, take a shuttle from College Station to Houston Tuesday at 11, so maybe Tuesday at 10, I'll be like all jovial and excited, but right now, I guess I'm just, I'm just still focused on trying to pack, still feel like I got some work I need to do. Overall, I'm just, I guess it's, it's almost like unrealistic, despite the fact that I've, I've had an opportunity to travel domestically to a lot of places. Um, haven't done much international traveling. I actually just got my, my first passport. Been on a cruise before, um, so that was cool. Had a chance to go to um, Mexico, but you don't need a passport for that. I've also had the privilege of on traveling to Hawaii, so it wasn't in the continental U.S. So this is my first time. So I guess everything is just such, so surreal, and it's just one of those kind of things is like, man... I'm really getting the chance to travel. Again, maybe, you know, I'm assuming that tomorrow or Tuesday, you know, that feeling will definitely sink in. Or maybe it might not happen until I'm actually on the ground in Greece. That it'll, Like those overwhelming feelings will, will, will come over me. So we'll see. But um, my goal is to try to post something, is try to record every day, especially the, the unique things that I'm going to be experiencing while I'm over there. Um, to give you guys a, a view of what I'm experiencing and to make you guys feel like, you know, you're experiencing it too. So I'm excited about it. Um, and I hope that you guys um, follow me. I hope that you guys follow along with the journey. Um, keep me in your prayers. For now, I'm just going to finish packing. And I will see you guys soon.